What is up guys and welcome back to episode number 19 of our journey with Chievo Verona. Today as you can see before your eyes on the screen in front of you we will be taking on Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League group stages. Uh, our second game now actually was our first game. If you missed out on that episode uh, it was the previous episode I think. Was it the previous episode? I don't think now. Was it? Hmm. That's the previous episode. Yes, it was. It was the previous episode. Um, but if you've missed out on that one, don't forget to check it out. The link will be in the description down below as always. But anyway, let's jump in and let's see how we've got on since we last left. We haven't played an awful lot of games. We've only played two games and those games were against Sassuolo and FC Barry. FC Barry were actually playing very well and they're, they're currently think well they were forced in the league when we played them anyway but the first game was against Sassuolo after a draw against Sampdoria and we only managed to get a 1-0 victory and well I've noticed that in these two games they're only 1-0 victories but we've had a heap load of shots a heap load of shots now remember what Sampdoria done to us or not Sampdoria but Sassuolo done to us last year they beat us 3-0 on the first day of the season at home and then continued to beat us then for the second game of the season that they played us in away from home. But we got the goal with Dusan Vlahovic. And then we went on to play FC Barry where Corky got an absolute cracking header from quite a distance out, I must say. It was nearly to the box where he headed it from. Uh, it was a return ball in from a corner. And very, very good finish, I must say so myself. So let's have a quick look at the... Um, table FC Barry has slipped down the tour after a 1-0 defeat against ourselves ourselves and Roma are tied on points battling for that fourth place position early in the season and I just want to have a quick look and see where Juventus are Juventus are they, they played six games they lost against Palermo drew against Torino and Napoli lost 2-0 against Roma drew two all against us and then lost 3-1 to um Internationale and we stand second currently in um, the Champions League table. Hopefully could mount a fourth place position too if we beat Borussia Dortmund. But let's jump into the squad and let's see who we will pick for today. Um, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to, instead of, instead of all the bullshitting around, I'm going to go with uh, the quick pick just so... Um, so the substitutes are taken away quicker. Uh, we're gonna go with the exact same tactic as last time against Arsenal. Um, we're gonna play a slightly deeper. We're gonna play shorter pass, retain possession, uh, walk ball into the box, take the overlap off, and um, I think that is it. We're gonna walk the counter. It worked against Arsenal. I don't see why it can't work against Dortmund. Um. We've taken Mensa out of uh, midfield, funny enough. Um, and uh, I don't know where to play him. I might bring Storaro in instead of Mensa. Let's see. Uh, who else do we have? We have Diakite. May bring. Who has the better rating? No, Storaro has the better rating. Um, not a lot of players out of the squad. But we're going to go with Vlahovic, of course, instead of Gomez. Uh, he's the better target man we are training uh felix gomez to be a target man um but i think that is the best squad at our disposal of course the the main question this year is who's going to be our main attacking midfielder so far i've given career career a bit of a chance um simply because he does have the better stats but I I can't forget what what Paul said done for us last year and and the potential of course that Matthew Green has, so I'll give him maybe a little bit more time, and uh, if he doesn't improve, if he doesn't start getting assists and goals, I'm gonna have to drop him or give at least give him a warning about it. Right, so that's the squad. In goal we have Chesney with uh, Mitru or whatever. What's his name again? I can't remember his name. Um. Miltrum, Miltrum is still out injured and Provendale isn't registered uh, so we only have the one keeper. Uh, Chesney in goal, Conte, Roy back, Corky and Inigo, Martinez two centre-backs and we have Coletta to complete the back line. 
Then our three midfielders are Fosu, Mensah, Cochinan and Valverde. The man in front of them is Karim. And then our target man is Vlahovic with Conchu as the complete forward. So let's jump on into this game. Hope we can give just as a good a performance like we did against Arsenal. Um, if you ask me, very, very, very unlucky not to win that game. If you ask me, we were the better side by a country mile. Um, and with the, the two, right, we got the draw against Sampdoria, a little bit unjustified. Um, uh, those are coming into the match, so this is back. Uh, I think we've been able to prepare this properly as a result. Right, um, yeah, it, that Sampdoria result, it, it's been playing on my head. I just, it's disappointing because we should have won it. I think anyway, especially after coming off an Ars the Arsenal result. Um, then we got two 1-0 victories, weren't justified at all. I think we should have won that by much more. But look, you, you can't change the result of a game, you know. And uh, look, we got the win, that's the main thing. And hopefully we get that big win that we are due today against Ormond. We are at home, remember. Um, I'd like to take full advantage of our home games. Currently, Porto are winning their match uh, already. No, they're drawing their match, sorry, because they already had three points. Um, we look to just hopefully dictate the pace of the game like we did against Arsenal and in, in turn will we'll force them to push up much higher on us. Um, fuck an absolute duck. Really? Right, so let's have a look at this goal. Emery Chan whips the ball in. Silver with a little tap and... What is Chesney doing? Did that just go on the Chesney legs? Like, what happened there? Oh, no. That's not a good start whatsoever. Let's see if we can... Oh, my God, Conti. What are you doing, child? What are you doing? Oh, damn it. There's still loads of time to get a goal. Korea, Flavich, Mensa. We know Mensa is dangerous in that position. Oh, lovely run by Coquelin. And Mensa goes for the shot and unfortunately it's deflected wide. But here's the corner whipped in. Conchu. Conchu again. Mensa, Valverde. And it's the ball just whipped off by Ginter. They have an absolute deadly squad. Like, oh, beautiful tackle, but it falls back to them again. And it's 2 0. They're moving that ball very, very quickly. Um, let's have a look at it. Brandt, Garcia, Gotze just literally... Where is Colletta going? He just leaves the man out wide, free as a board to score in a near-post goal, as usual against Chesney. He uh, doesn't like his near-post marking. But here we are again, losing the ball. Right, we need to change something up here. We need to pause that. I'm going to maybe... A higher tempo of the game. We just play as we usually would. Apart from look to overlap. Because I'd like to keep those two men back. Because we know. Well we know Kaleta can't really attack. Uh, but his career. Vlahovic. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, Timo Horns. We need to. Oh, we need to get a result here. We really do. There's a league table though, 4 3 2 1. Right, let's let's give them a little bit of a motivation boost. I demand more from them. Don't score, don't score, don't score! Oh! What is going on here? Here we go again, let's have a look at this. Game throw with a ball to Oztunali. Simple ball across the box and near post by Andre Silva. That is so overpowered, I think, in this game. Just the near post. Like, even our passing is just brutal. Um, Coletta. Career. Oh, no. Right. Um, 
We're gonna have to do something else here. We're gonna go control. Um, what can we change in this? We're not gonna walk the ball into the box. That's clearly not walking. Gotta go with a more direct way of passing. Pass it into space. Take that off. And see. Let me see. Can I just go fairly narrow instead? Let's maybe stretch the midfield a little bit. Instead of confining everything. Ah. <sighs> This is not good, though. not good whatsoever. It's a bad, bad start uh, at home as well. And the, 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 Garcia and Oztonali are just absolutely destroying the passing. They've done about 21 tools there. Coletta. And they just don't hoof the ball. Here's Career. Vlahovic, Career again. Vlahovic again. They are literally... Oh my god, they're so compact. And there we go, it's the last ball. This is not good. And there's four. For the... We may as well play it. For the first time in... Jeez, I think since they're Bohemians, um, save, well, not save, but since playing for Bohemians, we are gonna change the tactic. Oh, that's making a substitute. Um, we're gonna change the tactic, and it's gonna have to be a make uni tactic, and hope this works, but we've no wingers. Yes, that's that's the bad thing about um <laughs> let's can we bring these two in here maybe? Play like a I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um play you there create there there um that's what we're gonna have to play that for now. We play you as a Roman playmaker. And you can play as an advanced playmaker. Right, so that's the, so far the best I can do. Um, unless can't you can play back here? Can he? No. Nope. No. So we're just gonna we're gonna play like that for now. And just see how we get on with it. He's putting forty in instruction. What the hell? Much deeper. We're gonna go with normal pace. Um, mix passing. No one exploit the flanks. Look, you can look the overlap though. Mm. You take off, take off, take off. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. That's about it. Uh, I'll try retain possession. If they don't have it, I suppose they can't score. Uh, other than that, that's as good as we can do. For now, anyway. Conchu. Vlahovic. Oh, Conchu with a whistle of a shot. But just cannot put it away. I cannot believe it. We're being hammered. 4 0. It's not the best of situations right now. Oh. Should have been a corner. Ball whipped in and Chesney actually saved one. Lovely. Um, aggressive. Concentrate. I good understand it. It is a dip. Oh, here's Conchu and tackled from behind. The ball stolen off him. I understand, yeah, it's a difficult game. And Dortmund are a brilliant team. But 4 nil in the first half... And there's a penalty as well. Oh my god. Things could not get any worse right now. Oh. Yeah, it goes the wrong way. Silva gets a hat-trick in the first half. This is... That's ridiculous. Oh, why can't just Miltrum be back? I don't even know what he's like in goal league. 
in terms of consistency, but God Almighty, he has to be better than Chesney. Has to. They've had 10 shots. 51% possession. Who's got? Oh, yes, and there's a goal. We're still four, four goals down, but there's a bit of hope there. Here's Concho. Lovely free kick. And the very thing I've said about free kicks is as much as we do have great free kick takers, we haven't really scored many in um, our last, say, this season actually comes to it's mostly this season we haven't really scored him so far but Valverde you can see is getting a little bit torrid there uh, tactic has changed it may be that a little bit harder now for the break us down but I'm just I'm going to be a bit aggressive on them I expect to see him much better in the second half I'm not saying we're going to score four goals but who knows um, we're just going to have to go with it See, uh, he's demotivated. Chesney demotivated. That's because he's shite. And it's good. This isn't going to work out well, is it? Mm, that, uh, let me see. Yep, right. So, two bad ones out of 11. Uh, but let's see how we can do in the second half. Arsenal currently drawn or losing against Porto. We still stand a chance. We still stand a chance of second place finish. If we can beat Arsenal um, in our last... I think Arsenal is our last one. It is our last game, as far as I know. Oh, and here we are on the counter. Fosu Mensa goes to Conchu. And Conchu, fuck now. I, I specifically had to have every single player on shoot less. Like... I don't know. I don't know. Game confused me. Oh, and it's cleared. Valverde. Just clears the ball straight to them. I, I just don't understand. Here we are again. They're on attack the and it's put over the bar. Oh lord, this is. And we have to. Who, who are we playing after this again? I can't remember. I can't. I think it's Inter Milan we're playing after this. And this is not going to be a good result. Gotz is injured. Lovely. Oh, what a finish by Garcia. <sighs> This is ridiculous. How can we play so bad? Oh, of two defensive midfielders. Well, of, of two... I don't have defensive midfielders, but... Oh, look at this. I don't know what to say. Six goals past them in, like... No, five goals past them in the first half. Oh, it's so bad. Well, if we went to control, don't have nothing to lose in this half. Oh, and how did he save that? Seriously, where's the goal line technology? Great, brutal corner. Collector tries to collect it, but gives it away again. Hold on a minute. We're making substitutions. We're making substitutions. Let it, you're coming off because you're playing absolutely shit. Uh, Create, you're coming off because you can't cross the bleeding road for Pulse. And let me see, who's on it? Like, Corky is on a 5.5 rain. I did not see that whatsoever. And I, I don't even have it fucking back up. <sighs> deep breaths, game. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Um, 5.5. There's no one I can bring on from. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There is actually someone I can bring on from. Both we meant to. You're going into defence. And you, shithead, is coming off of Storado. Boom, bitch. Carlos Garcia has the foul. And it's a red card. It has to be a red card. Ref just sent 10 of the players off. I think that's a, that's a fair enough statement. Play game. No. Okay, don't send them off then. So there will be a few uh, main words after this game. I don't care what the players say because this result is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's hard, it's hard to believe we're, we're losing by this result. Like, we're still making tactical changes. The game is just broke it can't handle the amount of goals that are going in against i think this would be our worst defeat 
I know we're setting records and all for like for transfer spending the highest game league scored goals in a game this that and the other but we've now broken of conceding goals in a game and I'm not looking forward to playing Dortmund again I'm really not oh thank god for that if I could bring if I had a better option for Chesney on the bench I'd did I not make another substitution? I thought I made three substitutions. It's a good job I didn't because he has a pulled hamstring. Right, so Felix, you're coming on, bud. You're coming on. No, wrong player. Don't know why I put you there. You're coming on for Vlahovic. I know you probably can't play there, but mm -mm. you'll do. No choice. Right, let's do this. Oh, we've the best half of ten minutes to go. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's Champions League is looking a bit meeker at this stage. Oh, and there's another goal by Con. No, it's an own goal. The party. We still had to score four goals. Here we are, Conchu to Storaro. Storaro plays a lovely ball in fairness into Conchu and I don't, I don't know what kind of tackle that was, but from the shots that we have hit Timo home with today, he can't seem to save one of his own players' little P-roller of a shot. We still had more passes complete than them. 470 now, 499. But we're still giving the ball away an awful lot. The time is literally just after draining down, thank God, because I don't want them to score another goal. This country is very deep. He has Gomez here and attempts to cross. Paul, oh, Paul saying I'm lucky. I suppose I can't get annoyed at this stage of the game. It was over in the first half. 6-2. Um, the players are getting an absolute... Fucking rocket up the arse with this one. There you go. The lot of you is getting swivel on that one. Chesney, if I could only take you out for the next game, I would. So frustrated right now. Right, guys. So I'm going to go and criticize a few players and uh, probably hand out a fine to one or two of them. And I will see you for the Inter Milan game. I'll see you then. Okay, lads and ladettes. So let's... Uh... We're playing into Milan today, and um, I'm still, I'm still hung up on that six two. Six two. Find three players. A uh, few, few players got got found. Who are they again? Um, Coletta uh, was one of them. Conti was one of them, and who else? Oh yeah, Corky. He is another one. Uh, Conti and Corky took it fairly well. Uh, Coletta not so well. Complained and then being being oh, accused of being mistreated and all this rubbish. So they're gonna jump into the game. Uh, and Inter Milan previously got beaten by Rangers. So uh, actually, first of all, we're gonna do this. Um, just so we can get the substitutes back. Coletta will be on the bench. As will, um, let me see, you go there, and Pulse can come on for Valverde. Uh, not really the best at playing there, but it's his best position. Um, who else? Yeah, Mensa back, yeah, yeah. We could bring in um, Miltrum today, but I'm not confident in bringing him in. Uh, he's still injured, well, not injured, but oh, what's left on it? I got told he could play the full match. Um, yeah, so let's see what we can do today. Let's change everything back to the way it was. It wasn't on attacking, it was on control. And I think we might bring it down to, say, normal tempo. We go fairly narrow. I believe that does work for us. Shorter passing, yeah, and that. So... 
um, that is it and we're gonna just jump into the game just jump out on it doodly, doodly, jump out on it doodly, doodly. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. right so Conchu is our key man and Gnogby is their key man which uh, he's, he's, he's Bit old now on his age, do playing at four, two, three, one. Um let's see now. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Oh come on lads, this is the league, it's a different ball game altogether. Let's let's hope let's hope we can pull a win out of this one. No, Rome are currently winning their game or drawing their game. Even the game's only started, I suppose. Uh, but if we get a win from this, it'd be very good. Juventus, I don't, I'm, I've been half. Really, really like. Oh my God. And 68% possession. We've had more shots. Was it just a lucky goal? I don't know. It might have been just a lucky goal. I don't know. But we're nearly like we're not getting any highlights here. And we're 10 minutes from half time. Eight shots we've had so far. And uh, it's it has that's that's been the most boring half I've ever come across in my life. We're gonna get aggressive with them again. I expect to see much better. They can, like, they're saying they're frustrated now. Like, just, just score a bloody goal then. It's not that hard. We need that first or second place this year if we have to qualify for Champions League next year. But here we are and and uh, we're pushing on them a bit. And uh, as usual, there's nothing, nothing happens from the kickoff highly apart from the last game where there was a goal in the kickoff highly. But this game is, is is this gonna go down as the most boring game so far in this journey episode? Um, journey save. We're gonna go attacking. Conte picks up a yellow card. A man who I really should have took out after his um bad game against. They've had three shots. Three shots on target. Let me see. It's a free kick. Uh, I think Chesney will be coming out for the next game. No, nothing he could have done about that. Nothing whatsoever he could have done about that. We are going to make a substitution though. Uh, Volpe is going to come on for Conte. And Antonucci is going to not come on at all. We're going to break Storaro on for you. And why did Volpe not come on the pitch? There we go. Confirm our play. And um, we're also going to change the tactic. We're going to do it much higher now. I think we may be sitting back too much. I don't know if I. Let's move you to normal. Let's go much higher. And then boom. See if this works. I highly doubt it will, but let's see. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Second loss of the season. Well, not second loss, but second loss in a row. We've had four, four, 600 passes nearly. And we couldn't score a goal. One half chance. They haven't had a clear cut chance or, or a half chance. Oh, this game frustrates me so much. Uh, and still, like, not a highlight to be seen. We've now slipped to fourth in the league. I know we're all forever frustrated. Well, there's definitely no comeback now. Uh, is there even much point of bringing a player on? Bring Antonucci on, Valverde, come out. Um, let's bring Fofana on. Just, just to really bring him on. Last thing we need now is to get a player sent off. And um 
I don't know, I just have a feeling it'll happen. Like just let's just get this game over and done with. It's over. Like that that hasn't been any highlights. That is the worst true ball I've ever seen in my life. Oh So frustrating. So frustrating. The 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 passing is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. But that's it. Two 0 Um Yeah, I'm not happy with that result. And that's it. That is it. And uh that is disappointing. Two losses. That's eight goals in two games. That is absolutely terrible. Let's hope next game we can bounce back with a better result. And uh as far as I know, Porto is our next game. Uh if I remember correctly. I don't know, we will we are about to find out anyway. I will be showing all the Champions League games. Um that is a thing I will be doing. Right, so next game will be that is the wrong one next game will be against Porto yes we still have to play we have to play Capri first in two weeks and then we play FC Porto three days later and Roma so that should be fun but anyway guys that will be all for today and as always thank you very much for dropping by it's much appreciated if you've enjoyed today's video, um, let's just uh, like forget about the two losses. But let's just say, if you enjoyed me having a little chat with you today, leave a like on this video and comment down below. And let me know what you think about the save. Of course, subscribe if you're new for more daily content. And follow me over on Twitter, at The New Gamer, for all the latest updates on my channel and on new episodes coming out, guys. So thank you very much once again. And as always, adios.